first thing we need to connect your printer to your Wi-Fi network. So let me show you how this is done and then we'll go on the phone. Click on menu, then go down, select settings, network, select the first one Wi-Fi, Make sure that Wi-Fi is turned on, so this is blue, and click on Wi-Fi Setup Wizard. Click Start. It will search for all the Wi-Fi networks around you, and it will provide you a list with them. Select your Wi-Fi network, the one from your house or at the office. Simply click on it. And by the way, uh, you could scroll up and down. It's not just two networks like some people may believe because only two of them are showing up. You can go down and maybe yours is down below. I'll click on mine, click over here, and now type the password of your Wi-Fi. Once the password is typed, you're going to click over here on this small keyboard and um, click on Submit. Then OK. Wait a few seconds. And you're going to have this message, connection successful. All right, once the printer is connected to your Wi-Fi, go on the Play Store or App Store if you are on an iPhone, launch it. And we need to search for the HP Smart App. So right over here, I'll search HP Smart. And over here, this is the app you need to download to make this work. Open it when it's done downloading. This is the main screen of the app. If you have other HP printers, you're going to see them up here. If not, we need to connect the printer. So how this is done, usually you get a, you're going to have a button add printer right here. You can click, but if you don't see it, like in my case, click on the plus icon on the top right corner. Select already connected to network because we already did the connection part. Now select your printer from the list that will appear. Mine is over here, Office Jet Pro 8130E. And it will be added on the top of the app. Click on Finish Setup. Then you need to go down, select Accept All. It will ask you to tap the check mark on your printer display. You see here, click on Allow. And the setup will continue on the phone itself. Now at this point, HP will try to sell you their um, Smart Ink or HP Plus account, which is a which is a subscription plan. Um, honestly, I don't want it, and many people need to get informed before purchasing it. So I'll click "Do not activate HP Plus," and I'll be quite persistent. I don't like that. So over here. They will ask you again. I'll have to decline a second time and it's not over. Don't worry. Press continue. And again, they're trying to sell you their service. You need to refuse again. Do not enable ink delivery. Again, they'll ask you. This is the fourth time. I don't know if you're counting. Skip offer. They really need to stop doing this because Usually when somebody asks me four times to buy their product and I refuse, most of the time, the fifth time, it will be a no still. I will still refuse. All right. Did you install ink and paper? Press yes, continue. Over here, select auto update, click save. And you'll get the green check mark telling you everything is done. Press skip printing page. Not right now. All done. And we will be on the main screen of the app. Perfect. Go down and you're going to have printer scan. Click here. Now, as I said, this printer has two scanners. The first one is the basic one right over here. If you lift this cover and then you also have a top document feeder. Let's start with this scanner. So put the lid up. Take the paper you want to scan, place it facing down with the top part of your paper towards the left side. 
Then we need to align this corner over here of your paper with the corner of the scanner. Simply drag the paper, okay, until both are touching. Close the lid. Where it says source, press here. Select your printer, obviously. Make sure this is selected. On top here, press uh, where you see letter. And you'll need to select the size of the scan. So again, this is just letter size paper, so I'll leave it like this. Source, leave it to scanner glass. Resolution, if you click here, if it's simply a PDF file with text, leave it to 200 dpi. It's plenty enough resolution and details. But if you're print, uh, scanning a picture, select 300 dpi. It will simply give you a better result. Then if you want in color and black and white, I'll leave it to color, go back and to start scanning, press scan. You have, uh, just before pressing here, you have a few presets. I don't know if you see here, you have batch, photo, documents. You can obviously try them all. I won't show you specifically what they do, but honestly, most people will want to scan a document. So that's why I'm simply leaving it there. Okay, I'll press scan. After 12 seconds, you should see the results on the screen. Okay, perfect. We got our scan. Now you may have a small blue square thing like that you can adjust, but don't lose time over this. Simply click on full. So the full page is actually saved. Next press, I mean the next button, top right corner. And it's time. And here you can add more pages to this document. So go ahead, put the next page there, scan it. You can rotate this if it's not the thing, the rotate, the orientation you expect. You can extract text and you can also make some annotations so you can write over your scan. At the end, you have a few options. Print preview will print what you scan. Share, if I click here, you can rename this, give a, the scan a new name. Or you can edit this, whatever. You can change the file type, it's JPEG, but some people will prefer saving a PDF. Then don't change anything there. Go down, select share, and you'll be able to share it on social media, WhatsApp, Messenger, Gmail, whatever app you're using by clicking there. And you can also save. By clicking save, you're going to save it on the memory of your phone. This way you'll be able to share it in the future or maybe you simply want to keep the scan permanently on your phone. So click save, give a new name, select the format, press save and it will be done. Now let me show you how to use quickly the top document feeder. So this is used when you have multiple pages to scan and you don't want to open this, put it there every time because it's time consuming. Take your documents here. I'll just use two sheets of paper, but you can have many, even 20. So align them, open these tabs simply by pushing them on the side like this. Put your document facing up this time with the top part towards the left side. Glide it. Oops, I need to extend this more. You're going to extend this small flap because the document will go inside and exit here. Do the same thing. So go down, select printer scan. The only difference, okay, once you click up here, is that under source, select document feeder this time. That's the only difference really, okay? Go back press scan and just take a look. The printer will take each pages automatically one by one and scan them. You don't have to touch anything at this point. By the way, when you do this, remove any staples that may still be attached on your paper because if not, it will get jammed. You're gonna get all the pages like this over here you see i have two but if you have multiple ones you'll be able to scroll through them and if you save them it's important that you select basic pdf over here this way it will combine all your pages in one single pdf most people want this 
So that's the only difference, then press save and uh, yeah, this is it. Thanks for watching. I really hope this tutorial was helpful. If so, please leave a comment down below. If you need ink, paper for your printer, check my Amazon affiliate links. Every time you go through them, you're actually supporting my channel since I get a very small commission. Like, subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.